This numbered room system is one of the most important parts of the learning system you will use. It will also be an incredibly valuable method for you to remember many types of information in your daily life. Picture any square or rectangular room. It would be best to use the room in which you are presently located. If you were not in a square or rectangular room at the present time, picture any square or rectangular room with which you are very familiar. Any room with four walls, four corners, a floor and a ceiling will work. That's 10 locations. There are only 10 single digit numbers in our numbering system, zero through nine. The 10 single digit numbers, zero through nine, will be assigned to the 10 basic locations of any square or rectangular room. Face what you consider to be the front wall of the room. Choose any wall and consider it to be the front wall of the room. As you look at this room on the screen, look at the corresponding room locations in the room in which you are now located or the room you are visualizing. The four corners are the odd numbers, one, three, five, and seven. Starting in the back left corner and moving clockwise to the corners around the room, the back left corner is location one. The front left corner is location three. The front right corner, five. And the back right corner, seven. One, three, five, seven. The four walls are the even numbers, two, four, six, and eight. Starting at the left wall and moving clockwise to the walls around the room, the left wall is location two. The front wall is location four. The right wall, six, and the back wall, eight. The ceiling is location zero, and the floor is location nine. If there are exactly 10 things to remember, the ceiling location can be used as location 10 instead of zero. Most sequentially numbered information, however, starts with number one, so most of the time the zero location is not used. If there are from 10 to 19 items to remember, you need two rooms. The first room is called the units room because the numbers are all single digits. The next room is numbered the same way, zero through nine, but there is a one in front of each number, making it the tens room, 10 at the ceiling to 19 at the floor. If there are 20 to 29 items to remember, you need three rooms, the units room, zero through nine, the tens room, 10 through 19, and the twenties room, 20 through 29. Most important, you should select real rooms with which you are very familiar. You should have your own units room, tens room, and twenties room, and so on. The key, however, is to be certain you know how the units room is numbered. All of the rest of the rooms are based on how the units room is numbered. It is very important to learn this numbered room system before continuing. Use the links below to practice the Vaughn Cube.